We've been fortunate enough to film with many incredible animals over our years of producing content for the channel, but perhaps our most charismatic subjects to date are the primates we encountered in Costa Rica. These monkeys were a real treat to see, and they provided some of the most memorable moments of the whole trip for us. Exploring their hidden world took considerable effort, but with patience and persistence we were afforded an unbelievable glimpse into the lives of these fascinating mammals. Tracking down monkeys in the wild may sound like a daunting task, but visiting the world-famous Manuel Antonio National Park on the Pacific coast of the country makes it very easy. The park is home to an incredibly charismatic population of white-faced capuchins, and they were certainly not shy. It only took us a bit of exploring to catch up with a troop right along the path, and watching them work their way among the enamored visitors was an unforgettable experience. White-faced capuchins are about as adaptable as an animal can get. They inhabit a wide variety of forest ecosystems, from rainforests and lowlands to mangrove and even montane habitats. Their diet is equally general, and they will feed on fruits, flowers, insects, and even some vertebrates like lizards and birds. Their adaptability often brings them into close proximity with people though, and this can be a source of conflict. Wondering how we got shots this close up? Well, this troop has completely lost its fear of people, and will walk right up to park visitors on the path. This may seem like a great opportunity for a photo op, but it is really important to respect these animals as exactly that, wild animals. They are not pets, and they're not really friendly per se. They are resourceful and intelligent, and will try to get an easy meal from people if they can. It is absolutely vital that if you are visiting a region where monkeys can be found, you never try to feed or interact with them in any way. Capuchins are very intelligent, but can be defensive if their space is not respected. It is always best to keep food safely tucked away when around monkeys, and to simply enjoy the encounter that you have with them on their terms. We did, and it was one of the most incredible experiences of our lives. Next up though, I think it's time to check out some of the Capuchin's larger cousins. We're out here in the morning, it's only 5.40 a.m. right now, and we're actually listening to a troop of howler monkeys up here in the trees. You might be able to hear them calling, actually, as we film. You hear that? Now, unfortunately, we're right by a road right now, so it, it might be kind of difficult to hear, but there are about four or five howler monkeys up in the trees here, so we're gonna see if we can get a closer look. As we approached the troop, their calls became louder and louder until the sound was almost deafening. We soon realized that there were more monkeys than we'd initially thought, nine in total. And what made the encounter even more unbelievable was that there were no other humans around. It was just us and the howlers. To say the experience was incredible barely does it justice. Sharing space with these powerful primates is truly awe-inspiring, and we still consider it our most surreal wildlife encounter to date. Now these guys that we're looking at are mantled howler monkeys. There are, there's a whole family of them up in this tree. There's about three adults, and then there's one juvenile, and then there are a couple larger males, we think, calling over here from the, the mango grove. Now, mantled howler monkeys are obviously excellent climbers. They can actually grip branches with all four of their limbs, both their front and their back, and their tail is prehensile, which means that they can use it to wrap around branches and they can actually suspend their whole bodies just on their tail. These guys are a very common species. They're distributed all throughout Costa Rica. We're still really lucky to get to come across them in the wild. So this group of howler monkeys is actually right in a residential area. This is a mango grove, actually. And we were working with one of our friends who we're staying with, and he was basically telling us that this group of howler monkeys is probably only alive because of this development. No one is allowed to build on this land anymore, so these trees are actually keeping them alive. We have a huge highway right out to our left, so it's really, really important that these guys have a place to live. And it's unfortunate because there's so much deforestation happening here in Costa Rica that animals like mantled howler monkeys that truly belong in the rainforest are being forced to live in very close proximity to people. Now luckily, these guys are not antagonized by the locals, but in many places they are. So we're extremely fortunate to get to see these guys when we can. It is not hard for humans to form a connection with primates. After all, they're our closest relatives, and they're pretty easy to relate to. We tend to see a lot of ourselves in them. 
the encounters that we had with these monkeys will stick with us forever. Getting to experience their unique personalities and complex social structures was one of the most incredible experiences of our careers so far. Fostering this personal connection between humans and wildlife is what we have dedicated our lives to, because when we care for our wildlife, try our best to understand these animals, and fight to protect their ecosystems, that's how we make a difference that will actually last. I want to know, what other animal from Costa Rica that we've encountered together have you formed a connection with? Check out this playlist of all the videos from this adventure, and let us know in the comments if there's a story that resonates with you. With that, we hope you enjoyed, and we will see you in the next one.